Hello everybody, welcome to Simply Marian. I am going to share with you today my great Ulta haul. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy all the goodies that I found in Ulta and even Trader Joe's. And so it's just been ongoing. Um, last week I attempted to upload this haul and something just happened where I could not, it was not the quality that I desired to present on YouTube for you all. So I attempted to wait for a nice sunny day where I could get my lighting right. And here we are. So I hope you are going to rock with me and see what we have here. If you are, then stay tuned. <music> purchased from Ulta and we'll start with the hair goodies. I don't know about you, but just temperatures are changing. I just want to start getting into some more, you know, different type of lighter hair, hair um, products on my hair to not weigh it down. So I've always had good luck with the Miracle Daily Conditioner. I usually leave this as a leave-in with just a little bit, but you can also wash it out, it says. And it's really good. It's for detangling, incredible softness, all of which I need. Reduces frizz, build up free. It doesn't build up. So when I use it as a leave-in conditioner, I can go a couple days and still not have a heaviness to the texture of my hair. It hydrates your hair and scalp, and I'm all about hydration. I have 4C type hair, and it dries out super easy, but it's also difficult to find those products that will be absorbed into the hair follicles per se and really provide a benefit, and it provides strength to my hair. So I'm looking forward to using that. But I also purchased with this as well. Let me see. There's another. Oh, here it is right here, guys. I purchased with this the Miracle 10 hair mask. So I've never tried the hair mask before, but it also should have some good benefits. It's also for detangling, restores moisture balance, helps restore elasticity. So it has a lot of great things to it. And Ulta had 50% um, off of these on their, on their um, daily sale. I can't remember the name of it, but it was only $15 and this stuff is regularly like $30. Um, so I thought it would be something good for me to try. Also for my hair, I purchased the Bondi Boost Serum. I like to have serums that can, you know, really go onto my hair and provide benefit. Let's see if I get that into focus for you guys. And really provide a benefit to strength. So I like the daily leave-ins. It's a rapid repair. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I've never tried this before. Mmm, smells wonderful. But um, they had a good sale and again, 50% off. And whenever they have 50% off sales, that's when I like to try new things and not really stay with what I'm used to because your hair, just like your skin, gets used to the same products. So I look for things that will offer benefit and, and variety. And I'm also a borderline product junkie. So I get bored with items quickly. So this was only like four... This is four ounces, so I figured I could deal with this pretty good. You know, even if it didn't work, I could use it in a different capacity, per se, uh, like a heat serum, a, a heat protector, or something like that. I also purchased Paul Mitchell Clean Beauty Anti-Frizz Leave-In tr Treatment. Let's see if you guys can see that. Again, we're also coming up into the real hot summer months here. I'm in the south, right? And it gets pretty muggy, lots of rain, very muggy. The temperatures vary. Uh, so me being my hair just frizzes right up. It draws right up if I go to the hairdresser and get it pressed and go out in this frizz. That rain and moisture is getting right into my follicles. And I have an afro, which I love to wear as well. But if I pay to go to the hair stylist, for a straight hairdo, I appreciate getting those benefits from it. Okay, so next we'll move on to what I purchased from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is really stepping up their game. They have gotten the memo that hygiene is really important to women as well. And I like it as well because they offer a clean, a cleaner product, things without um, 
mineral oils and parabens and things that are, are, are toxic for our skin per se. So I was very happy to walk in and I saw that they had toothpaste. They have their own uh, peppermint flavored toothpaste. And I have tried the Mr. Tom's, but I didn't like the texture of that toothpaste. So I figured I would try the Trader Joe's brand. It was only $2 and something. And that's the other thing too. Trader Joe's product, uh, they don't cost a lot of money at all. So I figured I'd try that toothpaste. I also purchased from Trader Joe's, they have a, a, a grapefruit body butter. They're stepping up their game. And like I said, this is eight ounces. And this was not a lot of money at all. Very thick product. You know, I've dug in there already. It smells wonderful, that grapefruit. But this, it just energizes. It just, ooh, it does some, it feels amazing on my skin as well. So I'm really looking forward to using that on my elbows and knees and the heels of my feet. Summertime, we have to be on top of that. They also have candles. So I got a grapefruit candle. I've burned this already, guys, and it smells amazing. And again, they don't use any of the, the typical things that cause cancer and things like that for your, when you're breathing in the different chemicals from different uh, candles. These are a more healthier version. So I got the grapefruit one, but I also got a mango, a mango tangerine. Mango Tangerine Scented Candle. These are 5.7 ounces. And they are, they have a cotton wick. And they burn for, uh, let's see, they do burn for, huh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say, but if you see this in your Trader Joe's, Try it. It smells wonderful. Also from Trader Joe's, I purchased uh, a body wash. This body wash here is a citrix kind. It says Refresh Citrix Body Wash. It has an orangey mandarin type of scent to it. I haven't tried it yet, but I will let you know how it lathered. Again, it was a very good cost to it. And again, they don't use a chemicals and things. It's, it's a healthy, healthier version. It, it says it's a unique aroma therapeutic blend of orange blossoms and grapefruit. And it does smell like an orange grapefruit. It kind of wake you up vibrant in the morning. If you don't want to get up, put this on your wash cup and you're just ooh, ready to go. I also purchased vitamins. Now, I don't recommend that you use vitamins without the recommendation and acknowledgement of your physician, but I um, like to take different different vitamins, like a daily multivitamin, just because I know I'm not eating right, I'm not resting right, I may not have a good diet that week. So this kind of helps me pull through. Women's Once Daily, I purchased from Trader Joe's, and it was $9.99 for 60, and I take one a day. I also pur 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 purchased a probiotic. The probiotics are good for everything GI, and uh, all tummies are so important, ladies. I um, had some tummy surgery. I had to have a gallbladder removed, and I definitely need this probiotic to keep my gut healthy, and we'll talk more about that. Maybe I'll do a video discussing my experience with the gallstone and having my gallbladder removed. So, and also I have a vitamin C. Vitamin C is just an all-around um, helpful with your immune system. Normally, people get it from oranges and, and different orange juices that are not a sugar sweetener. But I myself, I, I like to make sure I get the extra, extra mm in my body and load up on vitamin Cs, especially when, you know, viruses and bacteria or things are out there. It kind of helps my immune system ensure that I'm not getting colds and even sinus infections are kept at bay. But again, check with your doctor. And make sure it's okay with your body. Also from Trader Joe, they have a lavender scrub salt. Um, I am a fan of the Tree Hut um, body scrubs, but I saw this in Trader Joe's, and it is a lavender scent, and it is full of goodness. The oils in here, you could just see it. It's not open yet, but you can just see it floating around in there. The oil is so you know prevalent in here, and I can't wait to get it on 
get it in that shower and use it, but I am excited. And this is 20 ounces, so this is a chunker, a chunker amount. I think it was $6 at Trader Joe's. I'm looking forward to trying it. And since I left off with the body scrub, I'll start with the body scrub that I purchased from, that's all I had from Trader Joe's. So now I move on to alter the Tree Hut. The Tree Hut body scrubs are amazing. Ladies, the first time I tried the Tree Hut scrub, the sugar scrub, I was, ow! <laughs> it was like a cat had scratched me. So Tree Hut is not playing any games with their dead skin and exfoliation. So take it easy if you're a newbie. Take it easy. On, don't use it on like your legs and softer parts of your body. Save it for strictly, strictly those areas that are roughnecks like your elbows and your knees and your heels and just let it rip. And this one is the Papaya Paradise and it just sounds like it smells delicious. So I just decided to go for it. And it does smell delicious. And you can really see the oils in the tree hut as well. The tree hut are really a brand that has such variety. And I love it. So this is the Papaya Paradise. But I got this to go with the Shea Moisture. They came out with a Revive and Brighten Body Wash, which is also has papaya and vitamin C. And it has a little scrubbing effect in it as well. Ooh, I want to eat it. But it smells amazing, guys. It really does. I'm looking forward to trying that. And then, believe it or not, I found this at the, the lotion to match this. I didn't get it from Ulta. I got it from the giant grocery store and it was $2 cheaper. So ladies, shop around for your goodness because you can really save yourself a dollar too. And I'm all about that life. You know, I like plenty of things, but I like them even the better if I'm getting a good deal. And we, we all, you know, could stand to, you know, save a few coins. So I was shocked to see it in the giant, but thankful at the same time. And I picked it up. Also from Ulta, I picked up this Kapari, Kapari soap. It's a coconut natural blend kind of uh, super sud soap bar. And I got it because this Kapari shower bath right here, this stuff is nine fluid ounces and it is $18, okay? $18 dollars for nine ounces so i i've been hearing some wonderful things about it so kapari i am looking for you to show up and show why you are 18 dollars and why i should continue to purchase you versus my trader joe's or versus my shea moisture shower gel but i'm looking forward to a nice little treat every now and then you know it's like if we do need to treat ourselves Something special, you know, we're not getting out, we're not going to the mall, we're not uh, spending a lot of money in different places. So if you want to treat your skin well, do just that. You deserve it. Kapari, I'm looking forward to great outcomes with you. Also, back to mouth care, I did mention that I like those little flosses, the little flosses that go on your teeth in between them. And so I saw this earth-loving brand uh, called Grin. So I decided to pick it up. I got it from Giant. Again, I was all over because I could not upload the Ulta haul that day, but I was interested in trying this Earth Love, and it's made of a proprietary blend of cornstarch and plastic. So um, what does it taste like? Uh, what does it taste like here? Minty. It's minty, minty green, so I will get that at a later date, but I'm looking forward to trying those flaws and see what it tastes like. Let's see what we got next here. Next, we got Nivea. Nivea came out with some goodness. Nivea is a brand that has been around for a long time, never disappoints. So Ulta had these um, buy one, get one 40% off, I believe. So I've tried this, this Nivea. And what's new about this brand is that it has a serum, a, nourish, a nourishing 
serum enriched with a unique blend of plant derived oils and uh, essential skin lipids and vitamins. So this flavor is botanical blossom. And I do call them flavor for my skin. Flavor for the skin. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I will let you guys know if I like it. And if I plan on purchasing any more. And I also purchased the blue one. This one is called Just Nourishing Care. It's not a, a different scent. It's one of their older scents actually. And I purchased the body cream lotion to go along with it. So I, this lotion right here is not a great, it's not a, a strong scent to it. It's, it's, it's kind of like a jelly kind of, very light. It's not thick, but it's very silky on my skin. Very light kind of silk kind of feel to it. It's not heavy, which I love and which we need in the summer so that we don't look greasy by the end of the day. But I feel as if I've gotten some moisture. Oh, it feels so good. And it's for almond. It's almond oil enriched. And I love almond oil on my skin, on my body. I love it. I also got this hemp, sandalwood, and applewood herbal foam, foaming body wash. I tried the body washes in the past, but um, it was through Avon. I had to use so much, so many pumps to it that it was just kind of like um, more work in the, in the shower than I wanted to deal with sometimes. So I decided to try this because hemp is a very good brand, very expensive. And for some reason Ulta had these, this, this brand right here, this flavor, this skin flavor was marked down to $9. And it was buy one, get one 40% off. Guys, I couldn't beat it. $4.50 to try it. I pump, pump, pump. And it smells amazing. And I pumped it here and and let me just show you guys. That's not even a full pump, right? Not even a full pump. Watch this. Look how it soaks up. It wasn't even a half a pump. And I'm already soaked up. So I'm excited about that. I don't think I'll have to use as much. That it won't be so much labor intensive with the spurt. You know, and I can really get it with the spurt dipped up. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, guys, I got that. I got so I ordered something uh, based on another YouTuber um, in the special in the special area. I don't like to use things that have a lot of perfume or or scrub salts. Don't do that. It will cause your cause your interior body some damage, and and sometimes it can it can lead to even infections. So I try try to keep things down there that are not having chemicals in there. Nice pH balance. So this was recommended recommended on uh, one of the haul videos hygiene haul videos from a, one of the young ladies on youtube and it's called a vh essentials tea tree oil and prebiotic daily feminine wash so it's something that's got ph down odor blocking blend it cleanses and it odor defensive so in the summertime you know with this we sweat a little bit more so i'm looking for to see how this works okay so since we're on that area, I did try these organic. I'm trying to get better about the organic products, using them, anything that I put close to my skin, keeping it natural and, and free of chemicals and things like that. So this is the honey pot. I've heard good things about it. Feminine care. So I'll see if you guys like that. I've heard good things about it. But I also tried the Tina Intimates. I've never tried these before, but... Um, Looking for it. I saw these again. These are for very light days. I'll let you guys know. Those these aren't organic, but it's it's a new brand. I think I try it. Also from Ulta, I got the Aveeno Skin Retour Skin Restorative little cream going on here. Um, it was like ten dollars, but it was it has prebiotics, prebiotic oat concentrate, aloe, and pro vitamin B five. It's for itch relief balm. I know sometimes, you know, if you have eczema, your skin may get dry and you may have some itchy areas. This would be a great alternative, uh, something to use to help with that. Next, I'm working on my skin. And also had the Olay Regenerous brand by one, get one 40% off. So this is the serum. 
This is the Retinol 24 Max Night Serum. Serums are very good with helping with aging skin and even the retinol helps with aging skin as well. And I'm definitely aging and I'm doing it the best I can taking care of my skin. Starting your starting starting a good skincare regime as early as you can. It reduces the effect of aging and even with the the different environmental pollutions that we have in our air in in the air from our cars, it can affect your skin. So anything we can use to counteract those effects on our skin, just like sunscreen, we should do it. So this was the Retinol 24 Max Serum. And this was for, buy one, get one 40% off. So I was really looking for a new moisturizer. So I, I wanted to try a retinol treatment, you know, but sometimes when you go for the retinol, they can be pretty costly. You know, they can run anywhere. If you go to the dermatologist, you pay like $60 or two for the retin A. So I was looking for something different and this was recommended by a dermatologist that I saw on YouTube. So this is a little packaging here. It's the retinol Olay. It's in a little purple bar. And it's hydrating and moisturizer and fragrance free. And this is also used at night. So I'll put on the serum first and then um, top this off with that. And hopefully I'll let you know if I should see any results. But it got raving reviews on Ulta as well. Also wanted to let you know for mouth care, I tried this Listerine. I have the grapefruit one already. This is a, a limited edition coconut and lime blend. I love the grapefruit one. If you guys are out and about in Target and you see that grapefruit one, grab it. It's really good and it really holds your, your any, if you have any odor from food or coffee throughout your day, it maintains where your breath is, it is fresh. So you're not, you know, putting yourself out really because with these masks on, where else is it going? And last but not least, I purchased a perfume for the summer. I had my eye on this Michael Kors um, perfume for a couple months and it went down. I was scrolling through the Ulta website and it was $60. I said, wow, I'm going to get it. Today is my day. So I got 3.4 ounces. I'm sorry for the blinding you guys with this light here but this is the bottle it is so freaking nice it's got an ombre color to it but when i spray it it has a light smell to it and it's just oh summertime where it's not putting any anybody out the door if you're sitting in church you're not putting anybody out with your perfume so this has a really nice scent to it and it lasts Michael Kors Wonderlust, if you're interested. 3.4 ounces. I did go back on the site again. I did not see it, but I was able to get it for $60. So if you guys are interested, you want to check it out, I would recommend it. Okay, last but not least, I did order from BJ's. I got this rain bath um, products here, and this is a Neutrogena. I got three of them, 16 ounces, and this was only $13. For 16 ounces for each one. And they smell delicious. This is um, pear and green tea. This is the ocean mist. And this one is the fresh plum. So if you guys are, like I said, think outside the box. Ulta. Ooh, it's delicious. That smells good. And you know Neutrogena is another brand that's been around for a long time. So these older brands are now stepping up their game with different flavors to match. You know, if you want something similar to Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret, the older brands are really stepping up with, you know, giving us the variety. And I'm, and I'm here for it because Neutrogena is a good brand. Again, I've never had any issues with my skin as far as, allergic reactions or drying out with this 
in the history, but I'm looking forward to trying this one. And again, I was able to get three of them, like $13, $14. And I don't know if they still have that one as well. But if you get there and see it, then I would go ahead and give it a try. Thank you for rocking with me. If you guys are interested in anything that I hauled here today, if you want me to try it and let you know how you know I enjoyed it, but I will also be following up with some of the things that I purchased, you know, just to let you guys know that I do or do not like it. Like right now, I'm trying this um, caress. This caress here um, is really good. It smells wonderful, wonderful, and it just it's white peach and orange blossom. This one right here has a very nice. You only need a tiny bit of it. Like I said, I've been using this for a couple, about a month and a half or so, and I barely put it in it. It is amazing. And I like it because it's like a creamy, creamy, creamy and a nice light soap. It soaps up wonderful. It's a nice light scent. It sticks with you throughout the day and it lathers up. It lathers up and you feel like you're getting clean, you know, from this caress. So I will follow up with some more. I'm going to be doing the empties. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope it wasn't too long. Again, thank you for for rocking with Simply Marion, and I hope you have a wonderful day.